Okay, Aquarius, come on in here. Welcome. I'm Tiffany, and we are going to explore the wisdom of the tarot with intuitive readings. I offer general insights and guidance, encouraging you to take what resonates with you and to leave the rest. But before I begin your reading, Aquarius, I'm going to bless my decks of cards. Divine Spirit, bless these cards with your wisdom and light. May they be a vessel of truth, insight, and guidance as I shuffle and draw. May your divine presence guide my readings and illuminate the paths of those seeking answers. So shall it be. All right, Aquarius, let's get into it. How has your week been? Drop in the comments. What was the one thing you wish you could do over last week? You got one of those one things? I think I have a few of those one things. All right, divine spirit. Tell us what Aquarius needs to know for this upcoming week of March 25th through February 2nd. Do tell Divine Spirit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not the uh, <laughs> rose quartz. Oh, yeah, we got a jumper. Aquarius, this is for you, Divine Spirit. What does Aquarius need to know? Do tell. Let's take a look at the shadow card, which ends up on the bottom of the deck and the shadow card generally points to, if I can get this to focus, it generally points to either hopes or fears. You have the Knight of Pentacles, Aquarius. We will get into that shortly. Knight of Pentacles, the world, and Six of Pentacles, a lot of, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pull, um, no, let's see. I'm, I'm good with this. So, you have the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom in your shadow position, King of Pentacles, the world, and Six of Pentacles. This is a beautiful read so far. As far as you're looking to... Are you moving, Aquarius? Are you moving? Are you relocating? Whether it's in the same town or actually relocating out of state, I'm getting relocation for you, Aquarius. Now, with your King of Pentacles, this is always a fine card to have, right? You have been successful thus far in your life. You have uh, honed your skills, experiences, talents and gifts and it has gotten you to a level to live comfortably um but i feel like you are going to be relocating here you have the world card the world card completion fulfillment and wholeness have you been fulfilled where you currently are and that's why you want to move and start something new it's like a new beginning for you this is a growth opportunity for you to move. And then with the six of pentacles. <laughs> generosity. You've lived a comfortable life and you want to be able to give back, being very generous, being harmonious if you will with humanity and then let's take a look at this shadow card knight of pentacles again and this is a hope or a fear and i believe for you aquarius this is a hope that you and this you're moving you're relocating Aquarius, I, I'm getting that feeling of relocation so that you, you hope your relocation is as successful as where you're moving from this new, this new area, this new home. Um, even if you're relocating for career, you're hoping it has, it will be as successful as your previous hometown career 
business has been. And all things point to yes, it will be. Aquarius, this is beautiful. All right, let's get hmm, clarifiers. A couple of clarifiers for Aquarius Divine Spirit, if you will, do tell. This is beautiful. I'm loving it. Adventurous. And, and just to know that you're looking to help other people because you were blessed. That's an amazing human being, Aquarius. Good on you. All right. What else do we have for Aquarius? What can we learn? Do tell. Did I have it? Okay. We got that. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I just say uh-huh like my grandmother used to. That just came out. You have the three of wands, my goodness. So you are actually, you have been actively looking, Aquarius, where you want to relocate to. You have your ideas. You're actively looking where you want to go. It, it looks like you're probably going to come to a selection very soon this week on where you're going to go. You're moving on. You don't. I feel like this is pointing to why you are super generous. You may have come from a background that was not that well off. Like you are a self-made person, Aquarius. You did not come, you, you were not born with a silver spoon in your mouth, but you became successful by determination and willpower. And you don't want to go back there again. And that is, and you don't want anyone else to experience. That is why you're super generous at this point in your life. But you've definitely been surveying the land for your move. You're moving. One more card. Yep, because this, where you're at now, it's done. It's the end of a cycle. It's time to start something anew. This is exciting. Um, you're about to transform someone else's life. I feel like with this move, the generosity is just going to increase. Like, okay, I'm not taking all of this, these uh, material items with me. I'm going to bless another family. I'm going to bless a young person to help them furnish their first apartment or something. New beginnings. Continue generosities. You're going to transform somebody's life with your relocation, which is super amazing. You you probably thought it's only for your transformation, but this is going to impact more than just you, Aquarius. Let's pull one card from the Shaman's Dream Oracle for Aquarius Divine Spirit. What is the overall theme for the week of February 25th through March 2nd for Aquarius? Mm-hmm. Horseman, Herald of Chance. <laughs> Herald of Chance. This is your opportunity for growth. I mean, just here with the like you have knights. This you're it's a lot of action, a lot of movement for you, Aquarius. This is not happenstance. This is divinely meant for you. Let's go. Aquarius, let's go. You are absolutely relocating to somewhere else. You're taking a chance. You're hoping it works out. And from the looks of things, it's going to be more than okay for you. One more card from the Spirit Animal Oracle for Aquarius. Divine Spirit, one more card. Which spirit animal will Aquarius embody this coming week? Aquarius, uh-huh, there we go. Just had to call you forward. All right, Coyote Spirit, trust in divine detours. Trust in divine detours, Aquarius, okay? Be open to a slight tweak in the plan. Be open to a, a small detour in the plan. S small bumps in the road in this relocation process. It's nothing to be alarmed about. You're going to be more than okay. You will be able to handle the situations as they come with uh, with ease. It's it's no sweat, right? Like water off of a duck's back. You got this, Aquarius. 
I'm excited for your relocation. Drop in the comments below. Who is relocating? Aquarius, where are you moving to? We want to know. All right. I hope this has resonated with you, Aquarius. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, clicking the notification bell so that you don't miss any upcoming videos I have for you. I will see you soon. Until next time, bye-bye.